Welcome to my very first video on my channel. I will upload various tech, review, educational and other random videos. In today's video, we will take a look at the following error messages I received after installing Shortcut on my 32-bit Windows 7 professional box. Shortcut is a free and open source cross-platform video editing application for FreeBSD, Linux, OS X and Windows. Shortcut is developed on the MLT Multimedia Framework and has been in development since 2004. When you launch Shortcut, the first error message states, Fail to create OpenGL context for format QSafe's format. This is most likely caused by not having the necessary graphics drivers installed. Once you click on OK, you will get a Microsoft Visual C++ Runtime Library error, followed by a Windows Shortcut.exe has stopped working. You can download Shortcut from shortcut.org. You will find downloads for the current version 18.06.02 as of this video for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. They have 32 and 64-bit Windows installer and portable zips available for download on their mirror sites. They also have a number of tutorial videos available on their site for those interested in learning how to use Shortcut. I have already downloaded my 32-bit Windows installer so we will go ahead and begin the installation. I will launch the installation for shortcut now. Accept the general public license agreement. Click on next. You can uh, leave the defaults checked. I will pause the video for now and resume once the installation has completed. Installation is completed. We will go ahead and launch Shortcut. We get the error message upon launch. Click on OK. We get the runtime library error. Click on OK again. You'll get the Windows uh, has stopped working. Shortcut.exe has stopped working error. Close the program. So now we'll try to uh, find a solution uh, of how to fix this error message. First of all, we need to find uh, what type of graphics drivers, graphics adapter is installed on our computer. So I will use Device Manager, but you can also use a DirectX Diagnostic Tool using the dxdiag command. So we will go on to Device Manager and see the graphics uh, card that is installed on my computer. And if you are getting this message, uh, while trying to launch shortcut then you will need to check uh, the type of graphics adapter you have installed on your computer and uh, follow the steps in the instructions uh, in this video of how I resolve this issue. The, the display graphics I have is Radeon 9500 Pro and this is a generic Microsoft uh, driver so you need to go to the AMD website and download the latest driver for this video card. I have already downloaded the graphics drivers for my computer but for the purpose of this video I'll be showing you how I got the driver for my graphics card uh, so I'm on the AMD website I'll find your driver I have a Windows 7 32 bit uh, operating system Windows 7 professional so select desktop graphics it's in Radeon 9000 series and it's in a Radeon 9500 series the closest uh, driver that I see here is a Windows Vista 32 bit so I'll select that And here is the driver, uh, display driver for uh, my graphics card. That is the download I will do. Also has the ATI WDM integrated driver as well. You can install that as well. But this is for my graphics adapter only for yours. You might need to go to the uh, manufacturer for your uh, graphics card and download the latest driver from there. So now we will go ahead and begin the installation for the graphics driver. Install. 
I'll pause the video for now. Once the installation is completed, we will resume. I'm selecting a custom install of my graphics driver because I only need to install the uh, ADI graphics driver. So I'll show you in a bit. So right here I don't need the Catalyst Control Center installed. All I need is the ATI Display Driver and the Microsoft Visual C++ 2005 Service Spec 1 redistributable package. So we'll begin the installation for that. The installation is completed. We'll go ahead and reboot the system. Let's go ahead and launch Shortcut to see if it throws the uh, fail to create OpenGL context error message. And there you go, Shortcut launched uh, perfectly without any error message. So that is it for now guys. Um, this issue was specifically in relation to the graphics drivers. It needed the updated drivers installed for it to launch correctly. So. If you like the content of this video or if it was helpful to you in any way, do leave a comment. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and see you in my next video.